But the most important thing that I can stress about the night before is do not study. <laughs> It's Sarah and today I wanted to film a video for you guys and I'm super excited. So today I'm going to be doing kind of a story time but not really a story time, just kind of my experience with taking the NCLEX. I know that everything going on right now, the NCLEX is changed up a little. I know the number of questions are different and probably people's experiences are going to be different than mine. So do keep this in mind that it might not be the same. <laughs> you might have to wear a mask to take the test, but I just wanted to give you guys my general experience because I'm sure that's going to have elements of the same thing that I experienced as well. I thought this would be a good follow-up to my other video about how I passed the NCLEX in 75 questions. I know probably not all of you guys are interested in nursing, but I will have other videos coming out. So the first part of my NCLEX experience I'm going to be talking about is the night before the NCLEX. The most important thing that I can stress about the night before is do not study or try to cram. So they recommend, at least what I, from what I've heard, they recommend not studying at all the night before or the day before the NCLEX. And this is because for one, I mean, if you don't really know it by now, you're probably not going to know it. And so there's no point in stressing out over it if you don't know it. And second of all, it's just important to give your mind a mental break before you go into a really big test the next day. Because if you're studying and cramming for the test the night before, one, you're probably going to be really tired physically, but two, it's just going to be mentally draining. And when you go and take the test, you're not really going to feel like thinking anymore. What The day before, all I did all day was stuff that I wanted to do. I wanted to do stuff that I wanted to do that would make me feel better or make me feel good the night before or the day before I took the test. Some things that I did, first I got a haircut, <laughs> which you guys might think is kind of weird. But for me, haircuts are super relaxing. I absolutely love getting my hair cut. So I scheduled a haircut the day before. It was a way for me to distract myself. It was something that I really enjoyed doing. And it was also a way to get out of the house and physically not be able to study. It's more tempting if you're sitting in your house just thinking about studying and the test. So I would definitely recommend getting out there and doing something you love to do the day before. So the next thing that I attempted to do the whole day, especially during the night before the NCLEX, is I really tried to get my mind in a very positive state and positive zone. What you put out, your energy that you put out, really attracts what comes back to you. So if you're thinking that you're going to fail and that you're not going to do well the night before, then you're probably not going to do well the actually taking the test. One way I did this, well, one was meditate, but I know a lot of people don't know how to meditate or they feel like they can't meditate. So I would suggest maybe just sitting down and listening to your favorite music or I know I took a bath before, the night before I took my NCLEX to really just get in the zone and to chill out and to let the positive energy flow through. So find anything, it doesn't even have to be meditation, something that gets you in a high, high energy level. So to get ready for the next day, I also tried to pack my snack. So I'm someone who has to be very planned and someone who has to plan everything out. So. If you don't know, you can take food to the NCLEX, at least at my testing center you could, and I'm guessing every testing center you can. So just doing things like that, preparing your outfit, preparing your shoes, preparing what you're going to wear, um, preparing what hairstyle you might wear. Lastly, I went to bed and I tried to go to bed pretty early. I believe I took some melatonin because I knew I wasn't going to be able to sleep. But if you're going to do that, be careful because that can have different effects on people. My test was, I believe, like sometime in the evening or like 11 or 12, so it wasn't too early. So definitely take that into account too when you're scheduling for your test. Make sure that you're scheduling for a time that you think the best. So if you're a morning person and you think the best in the morning, then schedule it for the morning. If you're more of an afternoon person and you feel like you're more concentrated and focused in the afternoon, then try to schedule it then. One of the things that I found really helpful was to make sure that I knew 
where the testing center was. So the day before I made sure that I went to the testing center, I drove there, I looked for parking and everything like that. And then I came back, I drove there like it was the day of and like I was gonna go take the test because that's just one less thing you have to worry about. So for me, my facility was actually downtown and the city I live in is a pretty good sized city. And so driving can be very stressful. <laughs> so I actually got my brother to drive me to the testing center because I knew I would be freaking out about parking. I'd have to find parking. What if the meter didn't work? What if I couldn't park somewhere? There was just like a lot of what ifs. And for me, having someone just drive me there was a lot easier than trying to figure that all out. So next, I wanna talk of the morning of the NCLEX. I woke up not feeling well at all. I did sleep pretty well the night before, but that was probably because of the melatonin. So I woke up and I got ready. So I made sure that I got dressed into something that I was very comfortable in and something that I felt confident in. I can't remember exactly what I wore to the testing center. I know that I wore leggings and also like some type of comfy top. I made sure to feel like cute and comfortable. You don't know what the temperature is gonna be like. So I suggest bringing something like a sweater that you can bring into the testing room. So if you get too cold, you can put it on or if you get too hot, you can take it off. Make sure your outfit's kind of versatile for the different temperatures that the room could be. This is not the day that you wanna try to wear something that you're not comfortable in. Next, I ate. Now, you don't wanna eat too much because when you eat too much, you might be full, you might get tired, but you definitely want to have some nutrition in your body before you go and take the test because that helps you think. I remember I had leftover stew that I had made the night before. So I ate um, the rest of that. And then I also had like a banana and granola bar just to get my mind fueled. After I ate and everything, and after I got everything prepared and ready, I left for the testing center with my brother. Once I got to the testing center, I went into this really big building and I found the testing center. Usually it'll have signs of where you're supposed to be taking the test. And I went up to the person who was at the desk and basically they check you in, at least for me again. This was a while ago. Paperwork has probably changed and everything like that. But I just remember signing some documents saying like promising not to cheat and promising not to give the answers to other people, stuff like that. And then also showing them my ID. Once I got done signing paperwork, I put all my stuff in a locker, at least for my testing center. They gave us each a locker to put our coat in, snacks, cell phones. I did forget to mention you can't have any of your like personal belongings. They're very strict on that because they don't want people cheating. Once they led me back into the testing room, they give you like a whiteboard and a marker to write any notes or anything you need. Um, while you're testing, you might want to write some numbers. There are some like math problems. And then they also have an option for um, earphones. So they give you that stuff. They lead you to your computer. The testing room, how it was set up is there was just like a bunch of computers in a row on the, on the walls of the room. And there were other people taking a test. For me, it wasn't all NCLEX. A lot of other people were taking like their boards test. So it wasn't all nursing students. Like from what I can remember, I was the only nursing student taking the NCLEX there, which strangely made me feel better. <laughs> You're not having to think about, oh, well that person finished and I'm not finished. First of all, they were taking different tests. And second of all, they were all at different times. So when I got there, there were already people taking their tests. So you didn't have to worry about, oh, that person started and I'm not finished yet, which was really nice. So once I got to my computer, they explained like rules, like no cheating, stuff like that. And then you start taking the test. A lot of the test was a blur to me. I was super nervous. I remember, praying before I took it and just taking deep breaths and then just going for it. You have to remember that if you fail, it's not the end of the world and you can always retake the test. That was like one of the things I had to keep repeating to myself. So I read through the questions. I tried to think, think of them, 
from the most critical standpoint. I read slowly enough. Thanks to you world, which I talk about in my other video, how to pass NCLEX in 75 questions. Thanks to you world, a lot of the interface and everything about the test was basically like mimicked, not the questions, obviously. So I didn't have to worry about trying to figure that out. It's really hard not to do this, but definitely don't go through and think, oh my gosh, like I'm getting easy questions. That means I'm doing really bad. Or, oh my gosh, I'm getting really hard questions. That means I'm doing really great. Because honestly, what's easy to you could be hard to the computer. You know what I mean? Like it's a system. I kept taking them and I was answering the questions. I had in my mind, that I was going to take a break. So during the NCLEX, it is your choice to take a break. Like you don't have to if you don't want to. And the computer will tell you when you can take the breaks. I don't think I ever took the break because my computer shut down before then. But I just remember thinking like, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna take a break after the 75th question or whenever it tells me because like I need to. I just remember kept I kept thinking that to myself. Like you're gonna take a break. Like take a break. So I'm excited for my break that I'm going to take. I got to my 75th question and I was freaking out. You guys don't even know I was freaking out. I tried to relax. I answered the 75th question and my computer shut off. All of these videos I had watched from the previous months came rushing in of people saying, does it mean you passed or failed? No one knows. And so I just kind of sat there for a minute and I was like, oh my gosh. And then I'm like, I can't take a break. I'm done. I'm done. And part of me wanted to just retake the test because I thought I had done really bad. I thought I, I thought I definitely failed. I thought there was no possible way that I could have passed in 75 questions. So once I was done, I raised my hand and they let me out. I got all my stuff from my locker, all my belongings. And I actually had plans of my sister and brother picking me up from the testing center because I didn't drive there, so I didn't have a car. I texted them that I was done and they were like, that was really quick. I think my NCLEX lasted a total of like 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. It was very quick. I was expecting to be there for hours. <music> waiting for them I went into the bathroom of the building and I started crying because I felt like I had failed so I cried in the bathroom for a minute then I picked myself back up I went downstairs my brother and sister were waiting in the car to pick me up and I remember them asking like how did it go and I literally just started crying. I'm like, I did horrible. I, I stopped in 75 questions. It only took me 30 minutes, which is very fast. It's not supposed to take me 30 minutes. You guys, I was an absolute mess. So I didn't know when we would get our test results. I think honestly, it's very different from test center to test center. I remember going to my sister's apartment and just not feeling like doing anything. I was so upset. While at my sister's apartment, I checked my email and I saw there was an email, probably like not even an hour after I had taken the test, there was an email from the testing center and it said like, we're going to mail you your um, license, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna mail it to this address. You passed basically. Guys, if you don't remember anything else during the times that you're studying and the work that you put into it and everything that you sacrificed to study, and all the times that you were sitting in nursing school hating your life, remember the moment that you're going to have when you pass and get your license. That was my NCLEX experience. Like I said, it's definitely going to differ from person to person, obviously, and also from situation to situation. This year has been absolutely crazy and I can't imagine graduating, taking a boards test, <laughs> doing any of that this year because it's just been so insane. But I want to wish you guys all the luck if you're going to go take your NCLEX. I believe in you so much. You have to believe in yourself and just go for it. Know that you, you've done all that you can do. And even if you didn't do all that you can do, 
once you once you hit that chair and you start taking the test there's not anything else you can do at that point so you just have to take it and do your best make sure that you check out my other nursing actually i have two nursing videos one is about how to pass the NCLEX in 75 questions where I give tips and tricks about how I passed the NCLEX, how I studied, the materials I used. You definitely don't want to miss that video. It's very informative and I think it would really help if you're going to go take the NCLEX. Second, I made a video about my experience as a psychiatric nurse when I graduated from nursing school. So also go check that out if you're trying to decide what you want to specialize in. That video could be very helpful. Leave a comment, subscribe, leave a thumbs up. I am trying to make more videos as usual. I'm really trying to get on a schedule now. If you're taking the NCLEX, good luck. Much love from me to you and I will see you guys later. Bye.